what is up everybody Herc here and today I'm bringing you a another outdoor video uh, yesterday I completed building this uh, squat rack contraption that you guys see before you and uh, this was one of the first times that I'm squatting again I haven't squatted in so long it's it's pretty ridiculous actually uh, I haven't been able to go to the gym I haven't been able to squat after my shifts at work um, the form is still there, uh, which I'm really pleased and happy to say. Uh, I'm so grateful for that. Um, but the thing is that any, pretty much any time I deadlift, I always kind of work on my squat form. I'm kind of transitioning a little bit more into sumo deadlifting, so that really helps with my squat form. It helps me keep uh, my hips open wider and keeps the hips pretty pretty mobile, uh, so I don't really lose that form, which is just, which is always good. Um, so basically, um, I'm trying to go for speed here. I'm hitting decent weights. Uh, you guys are going to see at the end. Uh, I'm a little bit unhappy with the way some of the heavier weights move. Um, I used to be able to do, I think the best I was uh, for reps was 315 for about 5 or 6. And uh, towards the end of this video, you guys are going to see what kind of numbers I, I put up. And uh, I don't know, just overall, I'm not really happy with it uh, as much as I used to be. For this last rep right here, I was. This is still pretty much my warm-up set. So what I like to do is um, to really open up the hips and uh, provide more of an eccentric load for my legs uh, and really get them fired up and uh, and going. Is I like to squat as slow as slow as I possibly can uh, until I hit the bottom and then I just explode up from the bottom. And what that does is it provides an eccentric load, like I said. And basically, if you guys don't know, there's three. I think I've mentioned this in my previous videos, but there's three different types of uh, um, contraction types. There's um, con uh, concentric contractions, isometric contractions, and eccentric contractions. The eccentric, what I was doing on the descending portion, uh, basically when you're going down on a squat, uh, is what's known as the eccentric portion. And basically, it loads up, it provides the greatest load to your muscles, um, which is what I'm trying to do, especially as a warm-up. Uh, so that I can ab so that I'd be able to hit these heavier weights uh, as you guys could see right here so right now no belt no wraps no nothing uh, just have the uh, the wrist wraps uh, keep those wrists straight uh, I'm trying to get myself as much accustomed to wearing what I would be wearing if I was gonna be in competition uh, the only thing I'm missing that I really haven't bought yet is a uh, is a singlet and like some real some real decent uh, knee sleeves like SPDs or uh, or uh, Ray-Bans or anything like that uh, I still haven't bought those and uh, honestly I don't know if I'm gonna be ready in time to compete in August there was two competitions that I was thinking of joining uh, one of them is actually full now and I, I, they put me on the wait list which really sucks because it was only like 20-30 minutes away from my house really close and local meet uh, but that one I got shut out of and there's another one in New Brunswick, New Jersey uh, I can't remember if it's August 1st or August 15th one of those and uh, that one's still a possibility but honestly um, I have to see I really just have to see because it depends on how much work and how much progress I make in the next month um, I I would like to wait it out though because you never want to rush if you're preparing for something and especially if it's my first meet I don't want to rush into it and uh, you know not be 100%. Uh, I want to get there steadily, progressively, and uh, now that I'm finally done with my summer class, I'll have more time to do that. But uh, one month, uh, like a month and a half around that around that uh, duration, ah, I I don't know if honestly I don't know if I'm gonna be ready by then. I'm sure there's other guys out there, some of you guys out there, subscribers, uh, whoever you are. That have competed and you guys have probably been preparing for months in advance which is what I was doing I thought I was ready uh, a couple months ago but then when uh, finals hit for my for my spring semester at school and now that my summer class uh, came along that really set me back huge uh, you guys are seeing now I'm hitting 275 the past two sets were also 275 and this is the first time I had to put on wraps in a long time I'm, I'm able I used to be able to handle this for about 10 reps and now I was struggling with about five, uh, so I used to be able to hit 315 for like five or six, no problem. And now I'm struggling with this, so there's a lot of work to come. And uh, I hope you guys join me for that journey. What is up, guys? Herc here, and today I want to bring you guys 
a video where I showcase my latest invention and uh, a lot of you might be might be saying to yourselves damn man where have you been it's been months since you posted anything and the last video you posted was just a cooking video like well, what's going on are you getting soft on us but no uh, I actually had a summer class and um, uh, had to finish that up so I finally finished that and uh, what I'm showing you today here is uh, my my kind of take on a modified squat and uh, bench rack so over here you see we have uh, a bunch of 4x4s four so we got one here one here and basically this one this was the original frame this one if I trace it all the way around here this piece of wood right here that's touching the floor and this outer one right here and the uh, the two the two stands right there that was basically my my uh, my bench rack I have these little hinges over here to hold to hold the barbell um, and I have them angled slightly whoop, let me do it this way slightly upwards like this so that the bar doesn't roll off you can see right over here right there and uh, basically I use this side for benching I have my homemade um, uh, what's called uh, flat bench here too so that's where I usually bench right over here and the the extra modification that I made today is these bad boys right here this this 4x4 this really tall one and this 4x4 right up here this tall one and basically this side is used for squatting as you guys can see let's see if I can get a clear shot of it all right there yep so it's a pretty good height uh, it's uh yeah it's like perfect for for my size for squatting uh, if anybody else ever wanted to use this they'd probably have to you know bend down a little bit lower but uh, it works for me and um, I don't know I think overall it's a pretty solid setup I just did a couple of sets which you guys might have seen I don't know if I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video or the end probably the end but um, I just did uh, 275 for a couple of reps and this thing was flawless and the thing that really made a difference was these things right here these metal pieces put it like one on each leg on the bottom and it really balanced out the uh, the wood because um, the wood right over here this was the only part of it touching like touch that that was flat with the ground so all the legs were just wobbling they were up in the air so that really helped uh, helps keep them stable so that makes a huge difference like if I shake this thing right now like it's it's solid nothing's wobbling nothing I'm still shaking it and it's it's still staying in place so pretty awesome I'm pretty happy with it uh, the only two other things that I have to do with it is uh, I'm gonna paint this wood uh, black just like this bench is uh, pretty much the same color I'm gonna uh, paint over the uh, the Samsung strong ties and uh, I think I'm gonna leave these have some silver accents on it this and uh, and on this side and um, basically just paint it and oh the cool thing is since this thing is pretty heavy right now and uh, since I have it in my backyard like this is usually where, like where we where we park our cars like we have our, our cars over there um, I'm gonna need to put some some wheels probably one over here somewhere here and one on the other side right there near that near the metal piece just so I could lift it so I could be able to lift it up from one end and roll it around uh, so that'll be pretty convenient and um, yeah and oh last thing um, I put two screws these giant screws one here and one on that side so when I'm squatting on uh, on that side I could just put this put like a whoops ah, there we go put like a weight over there so that it could balance out this side uh, the bench the bench side right over here so that this doesn't tip over just in case if I ever reach like the um, you know the high 300s or, or low 400s uh, which is the goal um, when I'm squatting so yeah that'll pre pretty much stabilize it on the other side so I can add more weight to it um, so that's pretty much it guys uh, please like comment subscribe if you guys uh, like this video please like it and uh, see you guys in the next video I'll try to put out more content more frequently now now that I'm off of school and uh, yeah alright I'll see you guys in the next video take care now